Hey guys, Nathan here. I want to do a quick video and show you my hiking camping equipment. And we'll start right here with the backpack, one of the most important pieces of gear that you can have. This is Osprey Aether 70, which uh, is basically a 70 liter backpack. It's a great backpack. I won't go into great detail about it. You can read the reviews online, but it's a really good backpack for a three to five day uh, jaunt. And uh, right here you have the H2O compartment and I usually stick a uh, camelback actually down inside there. You can also just stick a bladder down inside there, but that's really good. Whistle for emergencies. Talk about sleeping bags. Underneath here I got a uh, Western Mountaineer 20 degree sleeping bag, high quality uh, sleeping bag for the late fall, early spring time weather. Uh, cold temperatures down to 20 degrees. Here on top I have a Edge uh, 40 degree bag and this is good pretty much throughout the summer months. Uh, that's what I'd use, it's very lightweight, rolls up to about the size of a football. This one actually rolls up to about the size of a fat football, so not, not too much more space there. I can get both those easily into the compartment on my backpack. Let's go around to the other side here, show you the water systems. Got a one liter uh, Nalgene bottle, 1.5 liter Nalgene bottle, Camelback, uh, military type with the uh, shoulder straps. That's kind of my primary water source. This is using my secondary water source. Uh, also have a three liter bag right here uh, that I was gonna use to stick inside the water compartment of the backpack, but didn't end up using it. Here's my uh, water filter for kind of like emergency uses. It's uh, really lightweight. It only costs about 60 bucks. Got the hose, the part, the filter part that actually goes in the water, uh, or one piece of the filter part, and then it's got filters in here as well, I think. And then it's just a pump system. You got a small cup here, a flexible cup for dipping into uh, like a stream bed to get into hard to reach places if you run into something like that. Uh, also, I forgot to mention part of the sleeping uh, piece is you have this uh, really lightweight high-speed blow-up mattress and that's really important to have a good night's sleep um, on the ground. Here's my tent system. It's a Nemo uh, Hornet 2 little uh, one person. It's, it's advertised as a two-person tent but it's actually a one-person size. Tarp going underneath that. All this stuff here is pretty much uh, small equipment, small tools and accessory type things. We have a camp saw, folding camp saw, a first aid kit, map inside a plastic bag, keep it from getting wet. This is a camp stool, very nice, very good to have if you can afford to hump it. Here's just some, you know, extra items, uh, icebreakers, gum, woods off, definitely need that. Uh, suntan lotion. This is a Bear Grylls striker, fire starter. 550 cord GPS device, a old-fashioned army um, hammock system. It's uh, not very comfortable like the modern-day hammocks, but you can use it if you have to. Sog knife, folding blade knife. Um, it's good for. Oh, don't want to come open. Got the serrated blade and the straight blade. Uh, all you need is uh, you know a size knife like this. You don't need a big knife. Uh, camp soap, earplugs, waterproof matches, Sylvia compass, in plugs for my walking sticks, camp soap, uh, pill bag, safety pins for hanging up wet clothes, a couple of big fat rubber bands for wrapping around different things. This is my light system, really cool. That piece on the back pulls out uh, and you can put that on the back of your head. And the front part here, it's got all types of different settings, uh, bright setting, medium setting, and flashing light type settings. Very cool piece of equipment, lightweight. Cell phone, sunglasses, and my walking poles, these extend. You have these uh, quick connect uh, tighteners. It kind of lets you extend the poles out to the length that you want them extended to. I would get two of those, not just one. Here's my hygiene kit stuff, toothbrush. Uh, razor, toothpaste, deodorant, wet wipes, toilet paper, New Testament, small Bible, uh, notepad, eyeglasses, 
if you have those a lot of extra baggies this is my food bag what i end up usually putting my food into keep it dry and then i have it also in separate baggies as well and that pretty much covers all the small gear let's go over here to the kitchen type stuff here i've got a wind shield it pops out and folds up open and kind of covers up the flame so that uh, it doesn't get blown out by the wind small pot uh, for it's probably about a one liter pot for boiling your water and that's a very handy thing for doing your hydration meals here's a small camp stove that i created and i'll show you online where to go to see how to actually make one of these uh, you have this little stanley cup system and uh it's good because it's got the measurements right on the side of it so you can kind of tell what's what's going on with the water amount of water you have in there this little cup comes with it and i can fit my stove and everything right in there it's got a little lid here's a titanium spoon for getting down your uh, mountain mills uh, dehydration mills uh, it's fork and then i put all my meals in a separate bag and label each meal so I know exactly which day and which meal I'm on and that way I can make sure I get all my meals packed up and taken with me here's some uh, denatured alcohol that the stove I just showed you runs off of the little mini stove a uh, camp rag or do rag uh, for wiping your face you could use it to pick up hot pots move hot items around there's all kinds of things you can use you can wash yourself off with this in a creek you know all kinds of things you can use that for you don't really need a big towel or anything like that something like this works fine and you can use it for multiple purposes which works good so let's start here with the clothing so i got some of the columbia ripstop pants they're about uh, 50 60 bucks with the zip off legs these are outstanding uh, for hiking backpacking highly recommend you get those crocs really lightweight I would go with some, something like this instead of the king sandals. The king sandals tend to be super heavy. I have a pair of king sandals. I love them. But for camp shoes, you know, something way around the campsite, Crocs can't be beat for their weight. Lightweight shorts. These are Vermont uh, tough hiking socks. These are uh, like champion sports uh, ankle socks. And I wear these up against my skin and I put these over the top. Uh, to cover my feet and that gives me good cushion you won't get any blisters that way these are Osolo hiking boots these are uh, really outstanding hiking boots really tough um, high quality hiking boots you can't go wrong with those some people use hiking shoes instead which is fine it's up to you uh, here we got like a synthetic shirt don't have any cotton stuff in this because cotton is bad to retain water this is the same type shirt long sleeve these are kind of like silk uh, jogging pants, good for campsite. Uh, kind of the silky type underwear that you can get like a Target. Stretchy type stuff, non-cotton. Good stuff there. This is like a jacket liner with the wool, uh, warm wool inside. And uh, good for, you know, winter type days. Uh, um, late fall, early spring type weather toboggan Gore-Tex gloves Thinsulate uh, type underwear rain jacket rain pants and let's see is that that pretty much covers the clothing uh, so I think I went through everything so now what I'm going to do I'm going to kind of show you the items I probably wouldn't take due to weight and what you're looking at here is probably if we're looking at one sleeping bag all this gear and the food you need for about three days you're looking at uh, probably about 50 pounds so it's a lot of weight let's go through and uh, kind of take out stuff we don't probably need probably don't need the one liter just go with the 1.5 and the camelback don't need this I'm gonna take the camelback actually stick it down the backpack holder I would need my water filter now real quick I'm gonna show you I'm getting ready to build a bag type water filter system I'm going to use this 10 liter uh, sea line bag, clear sea line bag, poke a hole through that and hook up the hose. And this ball, this little wiffle ball will go inside the bag. 
uh, going down the tube or down the hose will be this uh, mini Sawyer filter, one micron, and also this uh, Gravity Works carbon type filter. And then I got some of these uh, adapters, plumbing adapters fittings to hook up the hose system and have cutoffs, different things. I'll show you how that works later in another video, how I hook that up. So let's go back and start taking out items. So this, this is probably uh, a little bit of a luxury item. You can think about leaving this air mattress at home. Take that out. You do need your tent. You do need the tarp. Let's combine some of these items that we would uh, probably try to see if somebody else could help carry. Because they're kind of like shared items. Uh, so those two things would be shared items. This uh, camp stool. Nice to have. Great to have. But extra weight. Probably don't need it. Take it out. Here's some uh, shared items. Just moving all this stuff over. This thing, this Bear Grill Striker, real heavy. Don't really need it if I got my uh, fireproof matches. GPS, I mean, you have to decide, you know, where you're going. Do you need GPS versus map and compass? Um, most places you can deal with just a map and compass. You don't need the GPS. So that could probably stay home. Keep the 550. Don't need this because I got the tent system. Take that out. See all these items. That's probably a shared item. Camp soap is good. This soap, uh, since I got this little container of soap sheets, probably don't need that. Take that out. Cell phone. What am I going to do with a cell phone? You probably argue you don't need that. You can't really use the GPS portion of the cell phone because you need cell towers. And most places you go, you won't have cell coverage. So take that out of the mix. Definitely need the poles, need the light, pills, yeah, all the hygiene stuff. This stays, the bag stay. All right, cold weather clothing. Let's just take off the jacket, the gloves, the toboggan, the insulate pants, uh, rain pants. Probably don't need this unless you know that you're going to be out in areas where it rains a lot. And, you know, you know you'd probably need these. Otherwise, take those out. Uh, most of this stuff is really lightweight. Uh, it's good to have around camp at night uh, to put on after hours, you know, so you're not sweaty. You have clean items to actually put on. Probably need one pair of the uh, ripstop pants, hiking pants, take those out. And that takes me down to one pair to wear and to have the, uh, definitely need the do-rag. This kind of stuff you could say is shared stuff. The stove, denatured alcohol, the pot, uh, the windscreen, probably don't need that. Uh, I'll probably just take the windscreen out as a kind of a, you could probably make one of those out in the woods. So, but this, this kind of stuff you could share with somebody else, share the load. Just come to an agreement on who's taking what. Instead of doubling up, need the food, whatever food I end up taking. Definitely need those two items. And like I said, I would get rid of, you know, the more winter type sleeping bag or the late fall early spring type sleeping bag just go with the 40 degree bag for the summer months and that's pretty much it now by taking that down and uh let's say with food if you had three days of food you're looking at under 40 pounds now and uh, definitely by sharing out some of the items that's going to help take away weight also so now you're getting in the ballpark of where you want to be ideally you'd want to be under 30 pounds but uh, sometimes that's really hard to achieve. So thanks a lot. I hope that's helpful to folks starting off to figure out what you need.